Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, episode 11 in the WebGL series. Today we're going to be talking about using your truly native full screen capabilities of the web browser uh, with your GL Canvas. So we have a button here, one clicked, we'll run this full screen function, and then we have our canvas here. So you can see there's the button up here, and we have this some console logs. I'm going to click it, you're not going to see everything that's happening due to the fact that the video is not as big as my full screen, but you'll see it expands it wide. And if I close it uh, with escape, you'll see these are the, some functions that were called. Uh, I called this full screen and then on full screen changed and then called the size ring twice on the way back. So we can take a look at what's going on here. So resizes, resizer again is the same as before. I've added this new function called on, all, on full screen change. And this is saying that if we're not we don't have a full screen element of any of these types, then do the resizer. It's a kind of a fallback. And then this is the function that is called when the button is clicked. And basically it's requesting the full screen depending on what type of browser is you know happening. And then we have this event listener here for each of these as well. And that basically determines to run the on full screen after these one of these changes is made which is here. So it's kind of a nice way for you to do true full screen resizing um, based on the user's input. So that way you can have everything scaled appropriately in WebGL. That's it for today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Thank you.